Talking about dowsing and gods today, you can use these for many different things. You can use them for talking to spirit, finding water, or even finding the lost bit of jewellery. You, um, When you use these for spirit, talking to spirit, you wipe your mind of any thought. So you're sort of in a meditation mode. But when you go into investigation, you go into that sort of mode where you're not really thinking about anything when you're open to things to come to you or see things. So you sort of go into that mode where, you know, you relax and let your body, well, let your muscles in your arms to guide the rods to where things are. So I will demonstrate how to use them and then we will hide a teddy bear and show you how they work. So, with the dowsing rod, you have your body quite relaxed, so you're in a nice good stance. You put them in your hand and you hold them really loosely, so you're barely gripping them, so they are free to swing which way they want to go. You hold them shoulder width apart, I'll get a bit closer, and then you ask, you know, show me your no and your dowsing rods will start to sway to say that they are working and then they will move out to no. So they're slowly going out to no. So no is always outwards. Thank you. Can you please show me your yes? They are slowly moving in. This doesn't mean I am talking to spirit. To me, this means that I am asking my spirit guide to help me show you how to use these. Also, I do believe that spirit guides can help you use these in a way that they will show you where they're standing, like the spirits are standing. So you're sort of asking the spirit guides to help you. So at the moment, I'm asking my spirit guides to help me show you how to use thousand rods. So if I say, can you please show me where my dogs are, please? Straight the way, they're going to my dogs. My dogs are at the patio door at the moment. There you go, look, they're there. It's bear with me. I was just cooking a birthday cake. So, having your arms shoulder width apart, nice and close, so you like that. Holding them. So you're barely really holding them. So they are free to move whichever way they want to move. Okay? Okay, I'll get my son in to hide a teddy bear and I'll see if I can find it. Can you unpause it? Mm-hmm. Okay, they're done. My little helpers have just hid the teddy bear, okay, so I'm not going to look around or anything, I'm just going to come in and ask my dad and Rod to point to the monkey teddy bear. Where did Kyle hide the monkey teddy bear, please? Can you point to the monkey teddy bear? Okay, so we're pointing this way. I'll ask again because it could be anywhere in the room. Can you please point to the monkey teddy bear? Okay, so I'll move down here a bit more. Can you please point to the monkey teddy bear? Where is he in this room? Okay, there we go guys. It didn't take long to find him. So that's how you would use them to find an object because I know what I'm looking for, okay? And that's how you use thousand rods. And how I found this monkey is by asking my spirit guides to help me as well, because I do believe that the spirit guides help you use your thousand rods. So I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe and thank you for all your support. Any questions, please feel free to ask. We'll always ask 
um, always answer questions. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.